Welcome everybody, this is Mr. Storm, and I am going to show you how to create a text adventure game uh, using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We're going to do a little bit, uh, a little bit more than, than you may already know, um, but uh, with a little bit of work, you should be able to make a game that looks like this. So I'll just show you the game that I made. As an example, we're not going to be making anything nearly as complex as this, but once you get the basics and once you understand uh, how to build the structure of the game, you should be able to expand on it using the information you already know uh, to make something like this. Um, so let's go ahead and play the game and see how it works. So dead wrong. Zombies are stalking you. Can you escape before it's too late? Click to play. Type search help or commands if you get stuck. Um, now notice this is just running in a web browser. Um, this is an HTML document here, and I'm using divs to structure things, put them where they need to go. I'm using an overlay to create this opening splash screen, and if you look, you can see the items of the game, the game items behind it, but I can't interact any, with any of them uh, because I've basically turned this overlay into a giant button. Uh, this kind of acts as an opening screen for the game. So I'm going to click, and it brings me into the game, right? Uh, I have my location header here. I have a progress bar that shows how close I am to losing. I have a game screen where I can see an image of the location. Uh, I have a map which uh, on its own will build itself as we go through the game. And then I have an inventory which will pop items into this inventory as we get them. I have a message screen here. Uh, I have a place to enter my commands and then I have another inventory uh, a text representation of my inventory. Um, so here I can, you know, if I remember my, my splash screen said type help search or commands uh, if you get stuck. So I'm going to type commands and see what that does. So that tells me try any of these words, north, south, west, or east, west, search, help, commands, inspect, item name, use item name, or load item name. So I'm going to type search. Broken freeway is packed with abandoned cars and the bodies of the dead and undead alike. You can travel north or south along the freeway, or you can take the off-ramp to travel east or west. Let me type help and see what that does. A zombie infestation has destroyed the small town. Find a way to escape before you get eaten. You can use help everywhere. You can try using search at every location you visit. Try inspecting each item you find. So, I can go north, south, east, or west. Let's try to go north... And so that changes my location here, changes that, and it pops a new icon on my map representing where this location is. So search. I get some information there. I can type help. Oh, it says I need a freezer key to get into that freezer there. So let's go west. Okay, abandoned office building. Search. Okay, so now I have a safe combo, which attached itself to my inventory box there and let's inspect the safe combo see what that says and gives me the combination to the safe now I just need to find a safe to use that on let's go south okay I'm at the looted mall help maybe if you search the mall you might find something useful okay well let's search okay so I got a shovel. So now I can use my shovel to do something else. Um, so I'm actually just going to... Well, anyway. Um, you get the idea. So that's kind of how this game works. And if you win, uh, you get a splash screen that says you win. If you lose, you get a splash screen that says you lose and things like that. So I'm going to show you how to build a game like this. Now again, your game is not going to look anything close to this. Okay, it's going to be mainly just one picture and then a couple lines of text. Um, you, it's your job to use CSS and uh, HTML uh, to, to put things where you want them to go, to create a kind of a GUI here, um, and to uh, change the programming as you see fit for how you want your game to work. Um, so, um, let's go ahead and start the programming. Um, I am just going to uh, get as far as, as building the HTML, uh, the simple little HTML that we need in, in uh, this video, and then in the next video I'll get into the JavaScript. So I've opened up CodeWriter. I'm going to hit HTML, 
and it gives us a brand new HTML document. I'm going to change this to, I'm going to change it to dead wrong light because it's going to be a lighter version of dead wrong. And so the first thing I want is I want to make sure that my body, the body of my HTML, I want to make sure I have something that I, that I can output some information to. Um, so a paragraph element or whatever, I'm just going to do a paragraph and I'm going to call it ID equals output. And I can just leave it empty for now. So at this point, I pretty much have all the HTML finished. Uh, well, uh, let's go ahead and add one more thing. Um, so here's what I want to do. I also want to add uh, an image element. I'm going to give it an ID of um, IMG, and then I will close that off as well. So that's honestly all we need, because we want a picture up here and then we want a message here and then I'm going to add some input let's do uh, input type oh, type equals text and mm, I'm also going to want a start button or an enter button so we can do um, let's close that off finish that and then I want to do just a button and then I'm actually just going to leave that with, I'll just, I'll just type enter. Okay. And honestly, that's pretty much it for what we need as far as HTML. Now, again, you can use CSS to, to make this look better. Um, and I would definitely recommend that. Um, but, uh, uh, this is all the HTML you really need to do for the basic version of the game that we're going to do. And I'll show you kind of what that looks like right now. Um, let's go ahead and save that. We'll put that on the desktop. We'll make a new folder called oh, Dead Wrong Light. Dead Wrong Light. And we will give this... Oh, Put it in there, and we'll call it dead, dead wrong light, and we will save it. And now when I go to my desktop, uh, I should be able to find it in there, dead wrong light. And when I run it, <clears throat> I have exactly what I expect. I have an input section here. I have an enter button that doesn't do anything. I have a paragraph element up there, but it doesn't have anything in it. And I have an image element also, but that doesn't have anything in it. When you get to this step, uh, you've basically built the structure of your game. And that's all you kind of need at this point. Uh, in the next uh, video, I'm going to talk about planning out what you want your game to be, uh, what you want your map to look like, um, and building the map and actually allowing you to navigate through the map so that you can um, move, move around through your game world. Uh, so that'll be the next video. Um, please stick around for that video. Uh, hopefully you'll find, uh, hopefully you'll stick through this whole series and you'll be able to learn how to build one of these. And hopefully it'll inspire you to make something bigger and better. Um, like I did. Um, cause this right here is a far cry from, you know, this, this took about a week's worth of work. Uh, we'll do this in about an hour or so. All right. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.